Hello, this is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Sunday, June 11th, 2023. And today I'm talking about a study that was published in the European Heart Journal on June 2nd, 2023, titled COVID-19 Vaccination Related Myocarditis, a Korean Nationwide Study. Now, these experts looked at 44,276,704 individuals who had gotten at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. They looked at the incidence and the clinical course of vaccine-related myocarditis, and these cases were confirmed by the Expert Adjudication Committee of the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency. Now, what they found was that COVID-19 vaccination-related myocarditis was confirmed in 480 cases out of the 44-some million people, and that amounted to 1.08 cases per 100,000 persons. Now, they noticed that vaccination myocarditis incidence was significantly higher in men than in women and in the messenger RNA vaccines than in other vaccines. They noted that the vaccination-related myocarditis incidence was highest in males between the ages of 12 and 17 years and lowest in females over 70 years. Now, of these 480 cases, they noted severe vaccination-related myocarditis in 95 cases, and that was 19.8% of the total of of vaccination-related myocarditis, or 0.22% per 100,000 vaccination persons. So 85 people ended up in the ICU from their vaccine-related myocarditis. 36 people had fulminant myocarditis. 21 people required ECMO, which is a uh, major intervention uh, for the heart and the lungs, and 21 deaths occurred. And there was one person who required a heart transplant. Now, Out of these 21 deaths, eight had sudden cardiac death, which was attributable to the vaccine-related myocarditis that was proved by autopsy. And all cases of the sudden cardiac death were attributable to vaccine-related myocarditis occurred in people under the age of 45 who had received a messenger RNA vaccine. And furthermore, they noted all eight cases of sudden cardiac death from myocarditis occurred in relatively young people within a week after their messenger RNA COVID vaccine. So the authors concluded that although COVID-19 vaccine-related myocarditis was rare and showed relatively favorable clinical courses, Severe vaccination-related myocarditis was found in 19.8% of all uh, vaccinated-related myocarditis cases. And they noted that sudden cardiac death should be closely monitored as a potentially fatal complication of COVID-19 vaccination. Now, I'll include the link to the study. I know a lot of people are going to jump and say, I know these you know, I knew these vaccines were not safe, but the message here is, is that overall they're extremely safe. However, there is a risk and we've already known about the risk. It's consistent with the risks we already know about vaccination related myocarditis in males between the ages of 12 and 17. What I find is new here is that The clinical courses show the degree of severe vaccination-related myocarditis and the association with sudden cardiac death from these vaccine-related myocarditis cases. So that's my message today. Take care, folks. Be well. As always, I do recommend discussing your vaccination plans with your doctor. Vaccines are medical uh, therapies, in my opinion, And they should be discussed with a doctor. Take care, folks.